But we're continuing to follow developments this morning on a story that's really shaken our capital city. Mm -hmm. This is leaders facing tough questions after a deadly mass shooting in St. Paul. Here's what we know right now. Police say 15 people in all were shot. One person is dead. Three are in custody, and those suspects are all in custody in the hospital. They were hurt during the shooting as well. Friends tell us that the woman who died was Markeisha Wiley. She's a beloved animal care worker. One close friend told us that she was magnetic and she's being remembered for being bright, joyful and supportive. Now, this all happened at the 7th Street Truck Park in downtown St. Paul. It's a really popular area. It's just a few blocks away from the Excel Energy Center. This morning, Senator Tina Smith is calling the shooting tragic and horrific. We caught up with her following a sunrise ceremony for Indigenous Peoples Day. I know that um, St. Paul is just shattered by these events. To think of this senseless loss of life, um, again caused by gun violence, was just a terrible day. Um, I know that St. Paul um, and all of us are committed to stopping this um, surge of violence and, uh, and really recommitting ourselves to what we have to do to address this just senseless um, senselessness. The police investigation has only just begun. Our Mariel Mode shares what we've learned so far. Nothing about 7th Street Truck Park looks like a crime scene on this Monday morning. But nearly 36 hours ago, this block was taped off as police rendered aid to gunshot victims in the street and inside the bar. Police say they found 55 gunshell casings on the scene. All day Sunday, homicide investigators and the forensic unit reconstructed the crime scene, and they're still working to determine a motive and already arrested three people as suspected shooters. Also throughout the day Sunday, city and state leaders weighed in on this mass shooting, sharing their grief, heartbreak, and support for the victims and the family who lost a loved one. A St. Paul police spokesman says he's never seen anything like this in his time with the city. This is nothing short of a tragedy. We had people in the city of St. Paul out on a Saturday night having a good time. And we had other people who decided to pull guns with reckless disregard for human life and pull the trigger over and over and over and over again. The reason we're so shocked and appalled and heartbroken anytime something like this happens is because we're not used to things like this happening in our city and because we don't accept things like this happening in our city. And that's why our police officers show up as quickly as they do. Those three suspected shooters have not been charged yet, and until they are, we're not going to be naming them. But police say we're expected to hear those charges as early as this afternoon. All three suspects did sustain injuries as part of this shooting Saturday night. In St. Paul, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. Now, people who were inside the bar when all this went down are sharing some of the terrifying moments. There was no argument. There was no fighting. We're all just having fun, you know, talking, and then you just hear gunshots erupting. No one saw anything, like, happening. It was just gunshots, and it was, like, maybe 10 shots, pause. I'm kind of looking around to see what's going on, you know, and then everyone hitting the floor. So I hit the floor, and there was, like, 10 more shots. As DeMarco Percy, he was at the truck stop celebrating a friend's birthday. He said... He didn't sleep, saying it could have been him or any one of his friends who were hurt. He says he's happy to hear about the, re the arrest. The families deserve justice, but he's left wondering if he should just stay home in the future. This happened just down the street from XL Energy Center, which has once again become a destination with concerts and Minnesota Wild Games returning. Now many business owners are worried about people feeling safe enough to come back. Just last month, the city of St. Paul announced that crime was at its lowest point over the last five years. Cassetta's owner Dave Cassetta says that business owners along West 7th have been trying to address safety concerns amid growing concerns over the past year. We really would like the, uh, the administration to start addressing this stuff, all of us, the, the, the residents and the business owners. It's, it's heartbreaking. My reaction was sadness because uh, I've been here 40 years, and in 40 years I've never seen anything like this. This is the second mass shooting in the Twin Cities in less than six months. Back in May, 10 people were shot outside the Monarch nightclub. This was in Minneapolis. Two of people died there, including a University of St. Thomas student. Let's turn our attention back to the woman who was killed. There is a GoFundMe that has been set up for the family of Markeisha Wiley. In the GoFundMe, they call her Kiki. Already nearly $5,000 has been raised to help her family cover 
funeral costs. WCCO is continuing to work on this story. Stay with us as we ask more questions about the investigation. Find out more about the suspects. We'll have the newest information online, on air, and on our streaming channel, CBSN Minnesota.